Welcome to Royal News Updates. OMG. Queen Elizabeth stripped Sussex's royal title for interfering in UK politics again with their title. Before we start, please, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon, thanks. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have criticised the UK and world governments over Covid vaccines. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who stepped down from their active roles in the royal family in 2020, have signed an open letter from the People's Vaccine. The coalition demands coronavirus vaccines, treatments and tests be freely available to everyone, everywhere? A letter from the People's Vaccine was released on Friday afternoon, calling for an end to vaccine monopolies from Western countries. Harry and Meghan, alongside more than 130 former world leaders, Nobel laureates, scientists and others, signed the open letter calling for urgent action to vaccinate low- and middle-income countries and bring an end to the COVID-19 pandemic. The letter criticizes the EU, UK, Germany and Switzerland for continuing to block the lifting of intellectual property rules which would enable the redistribution and scale-up of COVID-19 vaccine, test and treatment manufacturing in the global south. It then makes five demands to world leaders. To urgently agree, and implement a global roadmap to deliver the WHO goal of fully vaccinating 70% of people by mid-2022. Maximize the production of safe and effective vaccines and other COVID-19 products by suspending relevant intellectual property rules. Invest public funding now in a rapid and massive increase in vaccine manufacturing as well as research and development, R&D, capacity. Make COVID-19 vaccines, treatments and tests provided free of charge to everyone, everywhere, and allocated according to need. Scale up sustainable investment in public health systems to ensure that low- and middle-income country governments have adequate resources. The open letter goes on to warn the pandemic is not over, and blames self-defeating nationalism, pharmaceutical monopolies and inequality for not vaccinating the world against COVID. It then added, the transfer of largely publicly funded vaccine technology and know-how from pharmaceutical corporations would fast-track production to a matter of months. Yet still today, a handful of these corporations retain the power to dictate vaccine supply, distribution and price, and the power to decide who lives and who dies. The UK has vowed to donate 100 million coronavirus vaccine doses within the next year to low-income countries as part of at least 1 billion doses due from the G7. Earlier on Friday, the Duke and Duchess Archul Foundation officially partnered with the People's Vaccine, with investment into the coalition. In a statement, the People's Vaccine said, We are proud to welcome Archul Foundation to the Alliance and appreciate their support, alongside Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. We will work together to end vaccine inequity and ensure COVID-19 vaccines, treatments plus tests are available to everyone. They added our tools, thought will go toward the Alliance's ongoing campaigns and efforts to secure fair vaccine access for low- and middle-income countries. Earlier on Friday, the Duke and Duchess Archul Foundation officially partnered with the People's Vaccine, with investment into the coalition. In October 2021, Harry and Meghan joined the World Health Organization, WHO, and saved the children in appealing to G20 leaders to honor promises to send COVID-19 vaccines to low-income countries. In a two-page letter, the Duke and Duchess called for the world's wealthiest countries to accelerate long-promised, donations and break the hold pharmaceutical companies have over access to vaccines. The letter, also signed by other leading health charities, said, every discarded dose of a COVID-19 vaccine, when there are the mechanisms to donate them, should outrage us all. Each dose represents a real person, a mother, father, daughter, or son, who could have been protected. Harry was also filmed speaking in a Global Citizen Live New York in September, saying, Many of these vaccines were publicly funded, they are your vaccines, you paid for them. Thanks for watching, please, 
Share your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe Thanks. to our channel.